Out at Main Road with crowds averaging 32,000. There's no team outside the Premiership who gets close to matching their support. And tonight the home fans get their first look at new million pound man Robert Taylor. In 70 games for Gillingham, he scored 39 times, one of course in the second division playoff final in May. It almost condemns City to another season of Division 2 football. Stockport boss Andy Kilner has several key absentees, however, with four late fitness tests required before he could name his side. He is, though, relatively unchanged from the 11 who beat Grimsby at the weekend, with Colin Woodthorpe and Tom Bennett, the two new additions. One player who did come through a fitness test is striker Alan Bailey, who continues to deputise for top scorer Lauren Jaffa. Bailey joined Stockport on a free from City during the summer, having made just one first-team appearance. It's only the seventh league meeting of these two near neighbours who began the decade three divisions apart. And win for City takes them two points clear at the top. And win for County and they're only eight points off the Blues. Quickly taken free kick, Bishop. Now Granville. Go to now. Latches onto it well, gets goal side, still going. And in the end Mike Flynn stood tall. Kennedy's ball in, Taylor! So near. Well, he hit the bar on uh, Friday night at Wolves. And just for a minute, it looked as though he'd opened his Manchester City account. Just beyond the upright. Here is Kennedy. Andrew away by Flynn play by Bennett, now Bishop, now Granville, Bishop again, Kennedy, time to turn, Granville, time to cross, Taylor, and again, so close so far, well it's the left hand side that Stockport County must surely know about, Taylor actually got in front of Gota to get that header away, Very, very hard now. Can Kennedy exploit a rare opening? Good chance and almost a goal from Ian Bishop. He was on the stretch, he got a toe end on it and it clipped the bar. Well, there's been so few opportunities for Manchester City to carve out and stop, but Bishop did his best to keep that alive. So good ball in, just too far away from Bishop. Granville, Kennedy hugging the left touch line. Dinning comes across there. And once again, Tony Dinning does well. Bishop, Warlock, Kennedy again. Chance again to see if he can get the better of Dinning. Instead, he plays in Granville. Good save. Fingertips. Well, he's given the goal kick. Keeper saved that. That's what Granville's saying. Good ball in from Kennedy. There's the fingertips. That's a neat flick on, meanwhile. Here's Moore. What a bad effort. Swerving away, and Weaver watched it go, but he's got pace, he's got good balance, and he's got an eye for goal. Bishop, Whitley, losing out, Allen. Clipping it on towards Bailey. Two men up to the right hand side if Bailey can play the right ball. And he's dwelt too long on it, but it broke for him. And he's clipped the bar, you know. Sliced it with the outside of the boot and had Weaver scampering. And it looked as though the danger had been thwarted, but well, it did beat Weaver. Bishop, Kennedy, good turn, Granville, corner, it's a lovely little reverse pass that he angled inside the fullback for Granville to chase, Jobson coming forward, 
Well, there's a threat from set pieces, the big centre half. And it's aimed at him, and he got the header in as well. Beacons! 1 0. It's his first of the season, and Jobson's aerial threat from set pieces is evident once more. It was aimed at Jobson, the header was good, and when it bounced up for Vikings, he forced it home. Here's Whitley. Flynn's challenge. Now Allen. That's a foul by Bishop. Referee waves play off. Ball's given away though by Flynn. Granville treads on the ball. What a chance. A great save from Weaver. Bailey almost with the dream goal that he was so craving. Well, Nicky Weaver was so sharp to make that save as Moore is obstructed for the indirect free kick. Well, he couldn't have expected Danny Granville's little slip, but he concentrated so hard and Bailey got the shot away. He too was alert. Fine save. Wickley's header. Woodthorpe. Dinning. They're not losing out to Hall, but it still spins away. Space for Allen to try and pick out the ball. Punched away by Weaver, real chance for Dinning, and off the post, and then turned it on the rebound. And of all people to put it in, it is Alan Bailey. Oh, he'll love that. And so will they. Well, the man who couldn't make it at Main Road will leave Main Road tonight with a treasured memory. You can be sure of that. Turned in for the equaliser. Allen's cross, Weaver nowhere, Dinning shot off the post. And there was Bailey. Ooh, I don't think that uh, anyone would have dreamt of that. Jim Gannon almost slicing it past his own keeper. Carlo Nash can see the funny side, but... Oh, what a fantastic night for him. And it proved to be just a statistic in the end, but... Will not forget the night he returned to Main Road after being released. And it might get even better for him and his team. Here's Allen. Good play from him. And it's blocked on the line by Danny Granville. Again, Weaver beaten. Stockport County have just got better and better in the second half, and but for a few rather bizarre defensive moments. Well, arguably been the better side. Jobson on the far, Beacons on the near. Kennedy with a cross. Over everyone, sliced up into the air though by Flynn. Won by Taylor, hustled out of it though and Flynn thumps it into Manchester City territory. Granville retreats. Now Weaver, trying to get the better of Allen, he's lost out, there's no offside is there, oh was a push was there? I think the assistant signal a penalty and Stockport County have a chance to win the game. The assistant put the flag to the chest and Stockport have a penalty. Well Weaver lost control of the ball and suddenly he found himself just looking backwards and as Bailey went in the challenge came in from Granville and the assistant pointed or rather put his flag to his chest and the referee pointed to the spot the Stockport County fans can sense an historic victory Tony Dinnick against Nicky Weaver on Manchester City facing their third defeat in a row for the first time in three years. Tony Dinnick. 
puts it into the back of Nicky Weaver's goal and Stockport County are on the verge of history the dummy sold Weaver's weight the wrong way calm as you like five minutes to go 2-1 Stockport County Good save by Weaver. A few fans in the ground thought that had crept in. There's the shot, there's the save. The referee's poised with a whistle to his mouth. Up goes Taylor. Down comes the ball. Edge Hill. Gota, three men in the move. Gota. Was he brought down? No, says the referee. And Stockport County have their victory. The whistle blows. It's a fantastic night for Andy Kilner. Stockport County race over to their fans who have been so noisy throughout the evening. Andy Kilner is cock a -hoo. Tony Dinning's the hero as Gerard Vikins trudges off the field. They've come from one down to beat Manchester City 2-1. They'd have dreamed about nights like this ten years ago. Dave Moss, the assistant, joins in. Tony Dinning and Andy Kilner celebrate like they've won the cup final. And for a team who a decade ago sat three divisions below Manchester City, this really is a night to treasure. What a night. Manchester City, three straight defeats. Their promotion credentials dented, one. Stockport County, their fans jubilant, they have two.